Hello everyone, welcome back to VDSEC Toolbox. In today's video, I will show you how to design a practical differential amplifier using a resistor and a MOS transistor as a diode. This is a continuation of my previous video where I demonstrated how to design a differential amplifier using GPTK 90 nanometer technology. Please make sure to watch that video first to understand this design procedure fully. These are the two forms of differential amplifier. One uses resistor to generate the fixed current flow. Another uses MOSFET as a diode connected to uh, ensure the fixed current flow through this branch. So I will show you the design procedure of resistors and M7 uh, to generate a fixed flow of current. So these are the two design procedure. First one is the design procedure of resistance and second one is the design procedure of MOSFET M7 which is diode connected. Our VDD is 1 volt and required reference current is 40 microampere. This value is taken from previous design. So let us uh, check the design procedure of resistance. For designing resistance value, we have just calculated the IR drop across the resistance using this KBL and these values are taken from previous design 0.282 BDS of 6 and the IR drop is found to be 0.718 volt. So using this formula I have calculated the value of resistance to be 17.95 kilo ohm. Next for MOSFET M7 we have used this KBL and found the BSG7 to be 0 0.718 volt. Next BSG7 minus BTH of P will be this much. And using this formula, I have calculated the W by L of required W by L of uh, to be L of uh, 7 to be 1.73 roughly equivalent to 2. So now let us move on to the cadence itself and check whether the design values are correct or not, whether the fixed current is generated or not. So let us go to the cadence itself. So this is the previous design with a constant current source IDC from analog library and uh, we have simulated previously and check the performance of the differential amplifier. In this case you can see all the MOSFETs are in region 2. So our main objective is complete to keep all the MOSFET is in region 2. That is previously seen. Now in the test bench I will replace this idle current source with a resistance first. Yes. And uh, we have calculated the resistance value to be 17.95 kilo ohm place it in between instead of idle current source. Check and save. Run. You see, if you want to check the instances from differential level pair you can see all the MOSFETs are in region 2 are almost same kind required current is flowing through this bunch and this little bit less current is due to the uh, common mode voltage if you change common mode voltage slightly higher then you can uh, you can uh, exactly copy this branch current to that branch this branch that is nm2 current will be same as nm3 if we increase the common mode voltage and now if you want to see check the gain also go to results plot gain in phase b out by b in c it is coming previous uh, according to a previous result that are uh, found in part one of this video uh, of this uh, design video 39.42 and GBW is also same 24.07 megahertz
also phase margin was most same so this is the process of using a resistor instead of idle current source to make it a practical differential amplifier now i will change this resistance and replace with it a mosfet pmos gptk 90 pmos now connect here and it is connected to the diode connected fission as diode connect connected fission so click on the mosfet and give the aspect ratio uh, length is 1 micro and uh, width is 2 micro first we will check with using this width if required slight tuning will be required if current is not exactly coming then slight tuning is required because we are using approximate equations second order equation only so that's why some uh, tuning is required further second save run check the current 36 not exactly 40 so for that we have to make the current close to 40 for meeting our specification so for that let us tune some tune the width uh, to some extent 5 micro see around 40.45 slightly higher so you can reduce the width to 3 fine now if you want to check the other branch current you can see same current is exactly same configuration is coming as previously done all mosfets are region to and current is copying exactly same as previous so in this way you can also check the gain standard 0.41 same gain is coming everything is the same so in this way you can use this two form of differential amplifier as a practical differential amplifier so this is it from the demo point of view hope you have found some valuable information from this uh, video and video please like and sh share my channel and subscribe so that you can uh, get more such videos thank you